Hey there, Treasure Hunt fans, your old pal Big D back here again with another movie review. Not necessarily a movie review, but more like a box set review. So remember a couple weeks ago in one of my videos, I was showing you what um, my Christmas haul was. And this is part of one of my Christmas hauls, and that was the Wreck Collection. And I finally, it took me two weekends to do it, just because of the fact um, it's four movies long, and three of the, uh, all four of them are subtitled, so... I'm a little slow on the uptake when it comes to reading these things because I get too distracted by what's going on the screen. So it did take me a little, could be a couple of weeks to watch all four movies, but I just finished it up and I want to do my review of it. So uh, let's, here we go. So this is the Wreck Collection. It's put out by Shout Factory, Shout Factory Screen Factory. Um, you've got four movies. Uh, let's see here. There's the first movie, and you got the second movie, the third one. And then Wreck 4. You know, I really, really enjoy these movies. I'd never seen them before, honestly. Um, never seen these movies at all. I, I thought they were about zombies. They kind of are. They're kind of not. I'm not going to ruin it for people that haven't seen them. I really highly recommend you go out and see these, these things. But... This was just it was this was a lot of fun. This was this was these were really cool movies. I actually enjoyed every single one of them. Now, the first, second, and fourth movie, you can actually watch all three of those. It would flow like one big movie. The third movie is a little bit of departure, but it's, it is, but it isn't. They do tie in the third one into the other three movies, and they actually do a pretty good job of it. Um, so these are basically about you know, you've seen it. There was an American version of these movies. It was um, Quarantine. Um, came out a few years ago. They did Quarantine 1 and Quarantine 2. And oddly enough, Quarantine 1 and Rec are pretty close. Same type of building, same kind of situation, same, similar people in the movies, stuff like that. There's a lot of... But of course, when 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 the whole thing comes out and you find out what it's really all about, they that's when it diverges. But um, uh, they're very, very similar. Now, when it comes to Wreck 2 and Quarantine 2, nothing alike. The second movie still takes place in the same building as the first movie did. And in Quarantine 2, it took place in an airport. So they went way off the reservation with Part 2. But these are really well done movies. Really well acted. The The visuals are very cool. The makeup effects are really well done. It looks really, really good. These are just fun movies. A little bit of campiness to them. Yet there's some really good stuff. Now, there's also really good stuff with it. I didn't find them overly scary. But I, I feel that they had a lot of good tension in them. And it, these movies flowed really well. They were really fun to watch. I mean, I enjoyed every single one of them. I'm definitely going to go back and watch these things uh, multiple times over the years. This is just a great collection. Really well done. Screen Factory has definitely outdone themselves with this thing. Because every movie has commentary or making of featurettes, behind-the-scenes footage, outtakes of lead scenes. I mean, they really put a lot into these movies and it's cool to have all formed together i did read from the director the other day because everybody's like because the, the last movie is kind of left open-ended a little bit and uh the director came up and said nope we're four and we're done we're not going to go back and do any more we, we we're doing four and that's it so that's good to know this is this should be by all accounts the 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 complete uh collection of wreck movies so but essentially these movies are these movies are about um there's like a what what you think is a viral outbreak in this building. This bu this building is quarantined off. Um, they send in this uh, this girl. She got her, she's a news reporter and she has her cameraman with them. They've been following these uh, firefighters around. The firefighters get called into this building because uh, somebody's hurt. They go in, then he gets cordoned off, and then the rest of the movie is about them trying to circumvent these things and these people turning into like zombie like things and coming on trying to eat you and stuff like that. And then it's all about them trying to uncover the mystery of how this all started stuff like that. And then, um, so that's a nutshell. The first movie, the second movie essentially is, it's a continuation of that one. This time they send in a, a, a team of like military guys to go in, like cops to go in and check out the situation, try to find some survivors, stuff like that. Of course they go in and the same kind of stuff happens in the first movie. Everything kind of goes crazy, but they answer some major questions in this one that you're not really sure about. The reporter, the, the reporter is in the first, second and fourth movie. So she does kind of go over it quite a few. Um... So that's just it, and then it ends, and then we, we move on. Now, the third movie doesn't take place in the building this time, although they do mention it on the TV screen at one point, but this one takes place at a wedding. And the way that they tie... It's really cool how they tied it into how why an outbreak happened in that building and why the outbreak happened at this wedding. But this is a lot cooler because in the first two movies, you had a limited amount of people that turned into these zombies and were roaming around. And this one, you had an entire wedding party that all turned into the zombies, and they're all running around just going crazy. And it's actually really cool. It was actually really cool. There was some cool death scenes in the movie. There was some really cool, um, just just 
just cool stuff in this movie. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was really well done. I, I was really worried about this one because I've been told by a few people that, like, the third one's a lot different than the other ones. It's not, you know, it's kind of a big departure. You got involved in this thing over here. But they actually did a really good job. The The creators of this stuff did a really good job making sure they tied it in. It's subtle a little bit, but you... And then, of course, the, by the end of the movie, they cue, cue you in a lot more. And then by the fourth movie... Um, you get the, you. They really directly tell you where there's, how there's a link between the first, second, third movie and coming into the fourth movie. The fourth movie is awesome because that one takes place all in this tanker that's out in the middle of the ocean somewhere, and they're trying to find a cure for this thing. And it's all about them trying to go around. The reporter's been captured. She's on the boat with these. Uh, these they send in these. Um, these because actually go back to that building at the beginning of part four. They go back to the building again. It's only been a few minutes since the the other cops had all been taken out and stuff like that. These new guys go in and they find this girl and they they bring her out and then they all end up in this uh, on this boat because they're trying to find a cure for this and it's all about what they do and how they how they what what happens and how they escape and stuff like that. These are really well done movies. I mean, I'm not kidding. I really like it. I highly recommend these things. The only downfall for some people is it is subtitled, and I, and I don't get me wrong, I do love subtitled movies. I, I do. I think the Amelie is one of my favorite subtitled movies of all time. Really enjoy that movie. My only problem with movies, Amelie was a, a departure from that. Cause it was more of a drama, a little bit of comedy. But when you get to action movies like this, a lot of times people are talking really fast, and so the, the 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 words are popping up so quickly, and I, I missed a couple of sentences because I was trying to read the first one, and it was like right on the second. So that's my only my only real complaint about it is that sometimes the subtitles just went too fast, because when people were really excited at the movie or they were like they're screaming and yelling and running for their dear lives they were talking a mile a minute so this it was like there was literally one point towards um the middle of the movie where i i, I was trying to time it to see how fast the the, the subtitle went up and went down there's was, was like two lines of subtitle it was like three seconds it was like boop boom i couldn't read it all so i literally had to go back and pause it to read it so that was my only quibble about that but my that's my quibble about all subtitle movies when they especially when it comes to action sci-fi stuff like that is a lot of times you're so distracted by trying to read the words you actually miss what's going on naturally i want to look what's going on so then i miss the words so but other than that i really highly recommend this this wasn't that expensive i think it was like 49 bucks on amazon i think it's a little more expensive if you buy it direct from shout factory but um it's really well done four really fun movies that just really kind of and they're not long none of these movies are long i think one's 78 minutes one's 90 minutes another one's like 80 something minutes i think the first one was about an hour nine an hour and a half too so not super long you're not like you're not putting a whole bunch of time into it you know you know an hour here an hour there you can get through them relatively quickly and i did like i said it took me essentially it would have been one day to watch all four i just i, I watched two one day and then i waited a week watch the other two so because i ran out of time but I, I really highly recommend this. It's really well boxed. I mean, look, all four movies, the case itself, it's that hard cardboard, not like the flimsy stuff they did with the, the oh gosh, what was it? The other movie that came out not too long ago, um, it, no, it Waits. I don't want to say It Waits, but it's the other one. They put out recently where the box is really flimsy. This one's not. This is this is built to last. I really like that. Matter of fact, here's the back of it. I haven't shown you by the back yet. That's some of the special features, and that's what, you know, some pictures about what's going on if you want to, Pause it really quick to see what actually is on there. Go right ahead. But these are just fun, fun movies. I'm so glad to have these things. I heard about them years ago. And um been wanting to get them. And they put another one. I put it on. So I've always been waiting for them to just put all of them out. I figured I'd pick it up one time. Boom. And the fact that Screen Factory, Shot Factory put these out is even better. Because they really do take quality. And they really put a lot of quality in these things. They take a lot of time with them. And I really appreciate that. So that is it for uh, my review of the Rec Collection. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a please leave me a like and uh, um, a like there. Also, leave me some comments. Has anybody seen these movies? What's your thoughts on them? Does anybody own this set? Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts on that stuff. Um, and let's have a great conversation. I'd love to talk to people about this because I'm the only one in my family that watched them. So I can't really talk to the rest of my family because they have no point of reference. So let's start a conversation. Um, please share this video out there. I'm sure a lot of people have seen these things. I'm really curious to see what people think about it. Um, uh, please click, um, click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos by me. Click the little bell if you want to get notified when I put up another video. Thank you guys all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Always remember to keep hunting because you never know what you're going to find. That's the truth. Everybody take care, and as always, live long and prosper.